hello viewers so in today's class we are going to uh, take up uh, these three topics and the first one is uh, we'll find the number of relations on set a having n elements then we have the number of reflexive relations on set a having n elements and uh, in the third topic we'll have the number of uh, symmetric relations on set a having n elements right so here we'll discuss how to find the number of relations right number of relations uh, total relations on set a similarly the total number of reflexive relations which are possible on a set a and uh, the number of uh, total uh, symmetric relations possible on set a right so let us start now suppose uh, we have uh, a non empty set a right so let a be any non empty set and uh, we know that the definition of uh, the relation so a relation r from set a to set a right a relation r from set a to set b or in this case we are taking uh, the set b as a so a relation r from set a to set a is uh, the subset of a cross a right so r is a subset of a cross a right so this is the definition of uh, relation now suppose uh, a has n elements right a has n elements then let us take the first one so the number of relations uh, from set a to set a having n elements is given by uh, 2 raised to n square right so 2 raised to n square is uh, the total number of relations right total number of relations from uh, set a to set a or we simply say the total number of relations uh, on set a right so here n is the total number of elements uh, contained by set a now for example uh, let us take a set a having three elements right suppose we have a set a suppose it contains three elements then the total number of relations from set uh, a to set a is given by 2 raised to n square and here n is uh, 3 right so the total number of relations will be uh, 2 raised to uh, 3 square that is 2 raised to 9 clear so we have the total number of relations from set a to set a is 2 raised to 9 similarly if we have any set say p and it contains only two elements right then the number of relations on set p is given by 2 raised to n square and here the value of n is 2 so we have 2 raised to 2 square that is 2 raised to uh, 4 clear so this is 16 right so the total number of relations on set p having only two elements is 16 similarly if any set say y has say four elements say a b c and d so here we have n is equal to 4 so the total number of relations on set y is given by 2 raised to uh, 4 square that is uh, 2 raised to uh, 16 clear so uh, we have discussed the total number of relations on set a having n elements is equal to uh, 2 raised to n square right now uh, let us consider the case of a reflexive relation so let us first take the definition so what is a reflexive relation a relation r on a set a is said to be reflexive if every element of a is related to 
itself it means r is reflexive if uh, we have uh, a comma a where a is some element of set a so a comma a uh, this ordered pair belongs to uh, r for all a belonging to a right so we have already learned this uh, uh, definition uh, but here we are interested in finding out the total number of reflexive relations on set a having n elements right suppose uh, this set a has n elements right so what are the total number of reflexive relations on set a so the formula for this uh, is uh, the total number of reflexive relations on this set a having l elements is equal to uh, 2 raised to n square minus n right so this is the formula for uh, finding out the total number of reflex uh, reflexive relations on set a having n elements right so let us take one example suppose we have a set a having uh, say uh, only one element right so let us take uh, uh, this set a now here uh, the value of n is 1 because it has only uh, one element so what are the total number of uh, reflexive relations so i uh, will uh, use this uh, formula so we have 2 raised to 1 square minus 1 so this is 2 raised to 1 minus 1 so this is 2 raised to 0 that is 1 so we'll have only uh, one reflexive relation and uh, the re uh, the reflexive relation uh, will be given by uh, the set uh, 1 comma 1 only right so this is the only reflexive relation uh, on this set a right similarly uh, let us take uh, another set right suppose uh, we have a set b having uh, two elements suppose a and b are the two elements of this set b now here the value of n is 2 so the total number of uh, uh, reflexive relations uh, will be given by uh, 2 raised to uh, n square minus n and n is 2 so we have 2 square minus 2 so uh, we have 2 raised to 4 minus 2 that is uh, 2 square that is equal to 4 so we'll have uh, only four reflexive relations on this set b right similarly if we take uh, any set say x having uh, four elements right suppose we have a b c and d now here the value of n is 4 so the total number of reflex, uh, reflexive relations will be 2 raised to n square minus n and n is 4 so we have 4 square minus 4 this is 2 raised to uh, 16 minus 4 so this is 2 raised to 12 right so this is how uh, we find the total number of uh, reflexive uh, relation on a set a now uh, let us find the total number of symmetric relations on set a having n elements so again we have a set a having n elements now let us take the definition of symmetric relation so a relation r on a set a is said to be a symmetric relation if and only if uh, a comma b belonging to r uh, implies that b comma a uh, belongs to r for all values of a and b belonging to the set a right suppose uh, we have a set a having say uh, uh, two elements right one and two right so here this set a has two elements and the value of n is two now the total number of the total number of uh, symmetric relations on this uh, set a having n elements is given by the formula 2 raised to n n plus 1 by 2 right so this is the formula 
for finding out the total number of symmetric uh, relation uh, relations on set A having an element. So here we have the formula 2 raised to n, n plus 1 by 2. So in this case, the value of n is 2. So we can write 2 raised to 2 times 2 plus 1 by 2. So we have 2 raised to uh, this 2 and 2 get cancelled. So we have 2 plus 1, 3. So this is 8. So the total number of relations, uh, symmetric relations on this set A having two elements is equal to 8. Similarly, let us take one more uh, set. Suppose we have a set B having only uh, one element, say A. So here N is 1. So the total number of uh, symmetric relations is given by this formula. So we have 2 raised to 1 times 1 plus 1 by 2. So we have 2 raised to uh, 1 times 2 over 2. So 2 and 2 get cancelled. So we have 2 raised to 1 that is 2. So we have only uh, two symmetric relations on this set B. Similarly, if we take any uh, other set, say uh, Q having, say, uh, four elements a b c and d so here n is four so the total number of uh, symmetric relations uh, uh, can be calculated by this formula so we have two raised to uh, n is four so we have four times uh, four plus one is five over two so we have two raised to uh, 20 over two that is 10 so two raised to 10 is the total number of uh, uh, symmetric relations uh, on this set Q, right? So, viewers, in this uh, lecture, uh, we have uh, discussed how to find the total number of relations, total number of reflexive relations, and total number of symmetric relations. So, although we have not discussed the uh, the derivations of these formula, so we'll take the derivations in our next video, right?